In today's video, I will show you how to use the particle system in DaVinci Resolve to create a snow effect. So let's start by dragging our image into our scene. And first of all, I will zoom a little bit in to remove the black edges. And then we can head over to the Fusion page. Here we will add three nodes. First of all, a P emitter, then a P render, and lastly, a multi merge. Now let's move the multi merge over this line and connect it, and then put the P renderer and the P emitter over it. Now, let's click on the P emitter. And as you can see, we have the circle. And if you zoom in, there are these small points. And if you move the cursor on the timeline, they will add up. What we want to do is to change the circle to a line. So with the P emitter selected, let's go to the inspector in the region tab. And here, here you can open this drop down and select line. Now let's move the first one up here and the second one up here. Now if we play, nothing will happen. Uh, that's because if I move this back into the frame, our particles will spawn on this line in between. And to make them fall down, we need to go back to the controls and under the velocity tab, let's give them a velocity. Now they will move from left to right. So we need to change the angle of this velocity, which you can do down here. And let's put minus 90 degree in there. Now they fall from the top to the bottom. So let's zoom out again and move these points. Here, like this. And before we change these parameters, let's go to style and under style, let's select brush. And under brush, you have a few presets and you can select a flake. Let's have a look at a few of them. I like this one. And now you can also see the particles better. So let's go back to the controls and change a little bit of the parameters. First of all, I will add velocity variance so they don't all fall at the same speed. And if you have a look at this, this already gives us a 3D look. By the way, if you're interested in more resources for DaVinci Resolve, check out the first link in the video description. Then I will also give it an angle variance and an angle Z variance. Now they will fall in different directions, which makes it look more like snow. Okay, next, let's give them a rotation and a spin. And I will just give everything a small variance. And now they also rotate slightly. For the rotation, you also have to uncheck the always face camera so they can rotate away from the camera. And let's increase the values slightly more. Now the next step is to go back to the style. And now we will give them blur. So we have a depth effect. And you can just increase the blur and the variance. And you could also do this over their lifetime. For example, if they should start blurry and then get less blurry, you can move this graph up. And now you can see they are more blurry on top and less blurry at the bottom. But I will leave this. And what I will do is Do more of this 
depth of field blur and give them a little bit of glow. What I also will do is go to the size controls and play a little bit with the size and the size variance. I think smaller is better like this. And now to finish things up, we need to remove this gap in the beginning where they will spawn but aren't all over the screen yet. And we can do this with the P renderer by increasing the pre-generated frames. So let's put our cursor at the front and drag the slider of pre-generated frames all the way up until our first few snowflakes hit the bottom. And what I also advise you to do is kill particles that leave the view so you have a better performance. And after we have adjusted these things, you can already head over to the deliver page and render your final video.